Hi, I'm Laura Berg from My Smart Hands, and today I have with me Alana McGinn from Good Night Sleep Site. And I actually asked her to come and talk to me today because I have been having the worst night's sleep because my son, who is six years old, keeps coming into bed with me. So, help me. I am here to help. <laughs> what do I do? So, give me some quick tips that I can try to. I don't know what to do. So, so explain to me a little bit about what happens when he comes out of bed, what goes on. Okay, so basically every night, sort of in the middle of the night between 3 and 5, I just hear him running up the stairs. Do, 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 do. It's almost like whenever he wakes up, that's the first thing he thinks to do, right. is get into mom and dad's bed. Okay, and how is he going to bed at night? Is he going to bed on his own? Yeah. So you're not having to stay in the room with no. him while he falls asleep, so no. he knows. Okay, so the first thing that we do at this age, let's just say at this age too, sleep issues are common. Okay, so you're not alone in that, so that takes some of that pressure off. <laughs> Lots of people have that struggle. Actually, that doesn't really help no, because I'm I know. still sleep deprived. <laughs> so what we have to look at is one, bedtime. We want to make sure he's not going to bed too, too late, okay, because we want to make sure that waking is not because he's overtired. And if he's overtired when he's waking up and this habit of going into your bed is what's going on, once he's well rested, going to bed well rested, he'll most likely sleep through. So what time for six years old, what time is he going to bed at? Eight o'clock. Okay, so that's not too, too bad until we can get rid of that waking. And I don't think he's waking because he's overtired. I don't think that's the main issue of what's going on. But until we can get rid of that waking entirely, let's move his bedtime a little bit up. So even just to 7.30. Okay. Is that possible to do? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so bedtime routine, start at 7. Okay. Which brings me to a bedtime routine. Okay, so at this age, uh, it's really important to have a nice, consistent, calming routine. Uh, we actually just introduced something with good, at Good Night Sleep site called Bring Back Bedtime. Hashtag Bring Back Bedtime. And what that is, is it allows parents and parent and child to have that time to connect and form that attachment and just slow down at the end of the day at bedtime. Because many times throughout the day, we're so busy doing go-to-go, -go, you know, doing our day-to-day -day and it, it's hard to, we're just kind of two ships passing and it's really hard to have that one-on-one -on -one time. And often when they're looking for attention from us at three o'clock in the morning, it's because perhaps they're not getting that, that time to connect throughout the day. And it's, I mean, it's just the way we live now. It's a lot of families struggle with that. So make sure he's having that one-on-one -on -one time with you or with your husband at bedtime. And bedtime's a great time to do it. So bring back bedtime. It could be in the form of reading a story, but I like to incorporate um, different things at bedtime. So that's what we're trying to do with bring back bedtime is a free resource that um, color with your child at night. Adult coloring is huge right now. So mom and dad bring out the adult coloring book. He can bring out his own coloring book and color. And what that does is it also gives you that backdrop to start asking those open-ended questions that we want to get that response from from our kids. So not just, how was your day? Fine. What did you do at school? Nothing. Mm -hmm. While you're coloring, you can start asking those questions and getting that information that you want and opening up that communication. So bedtime, really important to have that nice slow down, bring down stimulation. Um, at six also, start with a, I would say, do like a family sleep meeting. So sit down with him and he needs to know what's expected of him. So it's easy for you to say at 3 o'clock in the morning, you have to go back to your bed, you have to sleep in your bed. But talk about it a little bit throughout the day. So say, listen, bud, this is what we need to do at night. This is what's expected of you. This is what's expected of the whole family. We all need to sleep in our own beds at night. So make sure you're opening up that communication, not just on you have to go to bed and you have to sleep in your bed, but why it's important that he does that. So once he understands his own sleep needs and why he needs to sleep better and why you need to sleep better too. They want to please us, right? So the night that you do have a great night of sleep, let him know that. Mommy has such a great night of sleep. Thank you so much. It's because you stayed in your bed. We all got the sleep. Like that's just going to make him proud of that accomplishment. So make sure you're really vocal about that. So opening up the communication about the importance of sleep, super important. Okay, that's good tips. Anything else? B, you know, you got to set those boundaries, and that's where it's hard. The fundamentals are the same if we're dealing with a six-month-old or a six-year-old, okay? So early bedtimes, consistent sleep patterns, consistent sleep environment, so keeping him in his own room. But the difference between that age um, and a six-month-old is setting those boundaries and those limits. So if you crack one night, if you're really good the one night and you bring him back to his bed and you say, listen, you got to sleep in your bed tonight, you go back to your bed and all, and then the next night you're exhausted and you don't want that fight and just let him sleep in your bed, all the hard work you did the night before just goes out the window. Do you know what I mean? So be really firm with those boundaries and not in a aggressive, you're in trouble way, mm -hmm. um, but he just, he needs to know what's expected. So make sure you're setting those boundaries and also find out if there's maybe something else going on. Is there a reason why, is, is it fear-based? Is he scared of something that's going on in his room? Is something he says he's scared, so I'm not okay. sure. What, like he, I don't know if that's just a thing that he says 
because I'll be like, okay, thank you. Yeah. But uh, back to your point about, you know, walking him back to his room and stuff, I have to tell you, at 3 o'clock in the morning, it's hard. It's hard. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. So it's sometimes easier to... Exactly. <laughs> and then that's that vicious cycle, right? right? And that's how we start. So I get it. Everybody wants to sleep. But doing that work in the beginning is just going to set you guys up for success. So yes, in the first week, no one's going to be getting any sleep. But it's a means to an end. So okay. so, what you, so he needs to know if, you know... So just consistently take a bath. is okay. key. For sure. For All sure. Right. I will try that because I find I've been a bit... Um, lax there because I'm tired uh, at three o'clock in the morning. Of course, I, I I don't and I don't have the patience that I probably should have. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and so that's why it's really important also that. to talk to him throughout the day too, so that he knows if you do this at night, this is what's going to happen. So you might get maybe a little bit less of a struggle because he, he gets it. He's like, okay, well, even if I go to their bed, I'm not staying there. Do you know right. what I mean? So yeah. let him know that that's going forward. This is what's going to happen. Okay. And again, it doesn't have to be in a dominating you're in trouble way. Right, right. right. Just communi okay. communicate. So I'm going to have to suck it up and get out of bed at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> That's really what I want to. But I will do this. I will implement these ideas because I'm done. It's been three weeks now and I'm so, 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 I feel like I have a newborn. That's how tired I am. So thank you thank for you taking for the time me. to chat. Absolutely. And be sure to check out her website. It's Good Night Sleep Site. Good Night Sleep Site. GoodNightSleepSite.com. Great. So check out our site. It's wonderful, and she's lovely. And oh, thank you. She's my go-to person <laughs> for all sleep questions. <laughs> Thanks, Laura. Thanks again. Thanks so much for having me, Laura. So today we're talking about sleep, which is a very important thing for parents, new parents.